If some of you remember, I already did a couple of reviews based on XPG peripherals and they were actually quite amazing, I do have to say, including the mouse, the premier one, including the keyboard as well and of course the uh, mouse pad uh, which was much larger than this one. But today we have something really cool, so let's dive in into Precog S gaming headset. We have the slingshot gaming mouse and we have the battleground l gaming mouse pad so what's it all about with xpg and their peripherals they actually do create something different not oem without a doubt and uh, quite interesting when it comes to performance as well so let's check out the mouse first because i'm quite curious this one is lightweight it has not a familiar design but it does have certain holes on it so it kind of resembles to some ultra lightweight mice but nevertheless so what we have right here is actually really lightweight mouse and you basically can't feel it without a doubt i mean of course you can and but it's really light it uh, the weight of it it kind of resembles to 60 grams of uh, gaming mouse but to be exact it's 73 grams uh, we have braided cable which is without a doubt really really flexible and when we're talking about some drag and stuff like that you don't have to worry about it because the braided cable is really nicely done and as you can see if i immediately pull it uh, to straighten it out it actually stays in that form so that's good the mouse is a bit bulky so when we take into consideration the actual dimensions so the length is 125 the height is 69 and the height is 43 millimeters the weight 73 grams and we have braided cable with the length of 1.7 meters pulling rate is 1000 hertz with one millisecond the sensor is pmw 3360 which ranges in resolution from 400 to 12,000 dpi acceleration is 50 g and the speed is above 250 ips we have six buttons and we'll get to that part later on four led modes material is polycarbonate and abs we have two mouse feet so they are 100 percent ptfe and the switch reliability is 20 million clicks uh, i would say that this mouse is basically um, more oriented on some sort of budget version uh, in terms of the approach when we're talking about the switches because usually if you uh, grab uh, something that is higher in the price range you'll get clicks that go up to 50 million for instance but nevertheless so for instance we have two left buttons two side buttons basically a left and right click middle click on the scroll wheel which is also rubberized so you have additional grip uh, and you have a button beneath the scroll wheel, most likely for DPI switching. Now, the holes, uh, the triangles actually, go on the left side, on the side left part, on the side right part, and on the top, which basically don't touch the left and right click. There's an XPG logo in the middle, which lights up, and that's it when we're talking about that. Now, the PTFE feet are on top. There's only one at the top and one at the bottom, which since the mouse doesn't flex uh, i think it will be quite all right there's no fit in the middle around the optical sensor which usually manufacturers do create but do place but that's a different story so let's hear the clicks of the uh, side buttons there is uh, i would say 0 0.5 millimeters so well basically half a millimeter pre-travel before you actually click uh, but it's not noticeable and uh, the keys don't go uh, after the click they don't uh, dent into the mouse now here is the clicks of the left and right click i would say they're standard I, if i'm not mistaking they're somewhat omro switches or something similar to that but that's how they actually sound and the familiar click the left clicks, the side buttons actually have more significant clicks, so it's much louder than the left and right click, but that's quite all right. And the button beneath the scroll wheel actually does have somewhere in the middle of the side buttons. 
and the left and right click uh, the actual click the actual sound of it so that's also all right the scroll wheel doesn't have that much of a significant click when you're pressing it just something to indicate hey i'm here you're clicking me that's it now let me check out the mouse pad as well so we can place the mouse on the mouse pad and check how the mouse pad actually uh, helps this mouse uh, glide that's the most important thing so these dimensions are 420 times 335 which is quite all right it's um, in the box it comes um, rolled so we can expect as with any other mouse pad to have certain waves on the edges but here on the right side i don't see anything on the left side there is a slight um, wave but that's kind of normal on each mouse pad that is packed like this it gets wave on one side and it's not that even uh, i think it's one one and a half millimeter of height the wave so it will eventually lower down and be flat at the bottom we have some sort of a rubber base to hold the mouse pad steady and the whole edge is stitched so this is really cool it won't tear after a long time of usage here in the middle where you actually place your hand so that's nice we have mirror here on the right side and some sort of a, uh, additional graphics uh, to actually not make uh, the mouse pad plain on the far right side we have the xpg logo stitched inside like a badge or something and when we're talking of some specifications exquisite microfiber material large surface which is definitely larger but you know i always go with mouse mat that go covers up almost the whole table and uh, that's it when we're talking about specifications now let's check out the mouse and how it glides on this mouse pad this isn't a speed mouse pad where you'll get maximum movement of the mouse this is some more like um it has a bit of a friction uh, with the ptf feet on this mouse but also taking this combo into consideration first uh, we can program the buttons so that's that when we're talking about the mouse the mouse pad is quite a right i would say quite normal size for a bit of a larger mouse pad and fits quite nicely i mean yeah that's that now for the precog s now this is something really cool in terms of lightweight design you have plastic uh, headband which has here at the bottom uh, I would say an extended part that has memory foam not that much as you would get if the headband that actually touches your head is attached to the top side that holds the whole uh, chassis of the headset but uh, I would say it's uh, quite nice and this gives less weight to the whole construction ear cups have also memory foam which is which are made out of fabric so this dampens the outer noise a bit less than the leatherette ones but i would say that these ones don't sweat up don't make you sweat during the hot summer days or after long sessions the microphone isn't detachable which is a shame but i would say it all depends on the manufacturer how they produce it and here we have one cable going out which has a possibility to connect to be connected with one 3.5 millimeter jack four pole or you get a splitter as well to connect it to your pc with two 3.5 millimeter jacks three pole so yeah that's that so you can connect it to playstation xbox uh, or any other mobile uh, devices and you can connect it to your pc with the y splitter the cable is braided and it looks quite solid i wouldn't complain anything about that to be honest but uh, all together let's check out the button so you have a volume up and down wheel on the left ear cup you have the connection that goes uh, straight out of it and you have a switch to mute your microphone so no muting on the microphone no flip to mute uh, you have a microphone that is flexible to adjust everything the ear cups can be rotated so this is uh, something if you want to carry them around and they even tilt so they kind of adjust your head perfectly we have high fidelity 50 millimeter drivers we have high sensitive omnidirectional microphone auto adjustable headband which i already said because it's flexible on the edges and uh, extendable basically it automatically extends to your head and i have to check out how they actually feel let's remember i do have a bigger head so you do have to take that into consideration 
the headsets are really lightweight and this is really cool because the only thing that I feel is here and a bit here tightening up the whole headset and keeping it stable on your head. The cable is actually really long and I could go from, well, well, actually really long. So let's check out the microphone. So this part of the video is recorded through the microphone from the Precog S and the main microphone is switched off. So you're hearing this before I do, so I'll have to listen to it after this and uh, hear how it actually sounds. Now, when it comes to the actual sound from the ear cups, to, from the 50 millimeter drivers, it's quite solid, I would say. Now, you get a nice bass, quite clean voice, vocal, vocals, yeah. And uh, the instruments that, well, I don't know how to explain, but the sound is really good, quite solid. And when we take into consideration everything, when you check out the price for the Preco Guest, when you check the price for the uh, Slingshot Gaming Mouse and of course the mouse pad, it's it's a really cool deal, I would say. So it it, it all goes into consideration when you take uh, the the amount, the price that you pay for a certain product and what you'll get in return. This is a quite solid deal. So right now I'm going to check out the microphone just to see how just to hear basically how it sounds after recording this short session of it okay so the microphone is really amazing and i do have to admit that i was actually quite positively surprised when listening to it even though you listened to it uh, before i made a conclusion basically yeah but then i went to listen to the music again and usually i go with uh, music that goes that has vocals and has deep bass and first of all i was a bit shocked again because i had to re-listen to it uh the bass was quite solid you know nothing spectacular or whatever the vocals were all right and then i realized in windows even though i did punch it up to the maximum here on the speakers i realized it's playing on 50 percent so in windows i placed it on 100 percent and the bass really got quite nice, a bit deeper than usual. It's not like on more expensive headset, but it's quite all right. I do have to say it's quite all right. And then the vocals were really clear and really nice. So what I wanted to say in all this, which I already gave a certain conclusion during the mic microphone test, is that the mouse is a bit bulkier. That's it. But it fits hand perfectly. It's a bit not symmetrical it's a bit ergonomical and it, it fits really really nice i do have to say you can go with palm grip you can go with claw grip uh, i don't know maybe even fingertip grip but that would be a bit strange for 125 millimeter mouse the design is really cool the exoskeleton design is really cool and it really does look solid nice uh, something different uh, it does have a certain shape that it's somewhat on front only on front familiar the the rest is completely different so as i already stated it's not oem that somebody just slaps uh, the name of a brand on top as well as on the uh, headset which i honestly haven't seen anything similar to this maybe but to be honest uh, to have headsets that have this with the ear cups that you can rotate them and this type of headband I haven't seen that combination maybe I'm wrong you can correct me in the comments but personally I haven't had any types of uh, headsets similar to these now I would say this is quite cool for the price without a doubt you can't get a better microphone in this price range the 50 millimeter drivers really do the job and what can I say about the mouse pad if you want to have something different on your table which uh, really does have a nice uh, anti-slip rubber bottom that holds the mouse pad uh, strictly on your table doesn't move at all which well basically most of the mouse pads have that but yeah i have to mention that and the cool thing is that it's stitched on the edges so it doesn't uh, wear out on the edges like those that don't have that do wear out after some time is it a year or is it half year depending on your usage so yeah this kind of prevents it this kind of prevents doing that so guys uh i would say really impressed with the pre-cog s 
impressed with the mouse, the slingshot gaming mouse, and for the mouse pad, I would say it's solid, without a doubt. So guys, check out the links below for the Battleground L mouse pad, for the slingshot uh, gaming mouse, and for the Preco Guest gaming headset. If you're interested, you can check them out in the links below. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and uh, definitely don't forget to check my other videos. Hopefully, I will see you all very soon in a new one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.